Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to run a check disk utility scan on your Windows computer. So this is a very useful utility if you're experiencing different boot errors. And in addition to that, if you're looking to scan for different bad sectors, lost clusters, or directory errors, this tutorial will be for you. So there are a couple of different ways to open up the check disk utility and I'm going to go through what I think is one of the more easier ways in my opinion for people to understand and there's less room for mistake. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by going to our start menu and you want to open it up and you want to type in this PC. It should be listed as a desktop app. You want to left click on it once to open it up. So now for our devices and drivers you want to find whichever disk is experiencing the problems and most people the local disk will be the C drive if you have an external drive that you want to run this integrity scan for as well you can scan it as well doing the same steps we're about to go through and all you have to do is just right click on whatever drive you want to run this scan for left click on this properties button at the bottom of this context menu and now you want to select tools so this tools tab right next to general. Underneath error checking, this option will check the drive for file system errors. Left click on this check button right here. You might say you don't need to scan this drive. We haven't found any errors on this drive. You can still scan the drive for errors if you want. So I scan drive. And this will take some time, so just be patient here. Okay, so it should say your drive was successfully scanned. Windows successfully scanned the drive. No errors were found. Click on the Show Details button right here. It'll open up the event viewer, so if you want to check additional details, you're welcome to go through there as well. And you can see underneath information, the source was a check disk scan. And if there's any additional details, it'd be under here, which I'm going to close out of. And it says your driver successfully scanned, like I said. No errors were found. I'm going to close out of here. You also have the ability, if you close out of all of these windows, and you go back to the star menu and you type in CMD. And then underneath best match, should say command prompt. You right click on it left click on run as administrator, click on yes for the user account control window, and then you type in chkdsk space forward slash, and then like I said for your local drive, let's say whatever drive you're experiencing these errors with, let's say it's the C drive, so I'm going to type in an uppercase C, and then I'm going to type in a colon, and now I'm going to do a space forward slash F. What this will do is by doing the forward slash F it will find and repair errors that are found. So I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to run this command. It's going to say check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? At this point you would type Y on your keyboard, hit enter 
and then you would close out of your command prompt, restart your computer, it would run the scan, and then hopefully if there were any integrity issues found, they would be resolved. But the purpose of this tutorial is obviously how to run this utility. I'm not saying it's going to work for you. I'm just saying this is how you properly run this utility. And I gave you a couple different ways to do it. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.